All right, let's go ahead and look at the I can for today. It's I can interpret fractions as division. All right, let's go ahead and start. Um, we're going to focus on two concepts. First, we're going to look at fractions as division and then division expressions as fractions. So let's try something simple to start. We'll say 4 divided by 3. So 4 divided by 3 is equal to 4 thirds. And we can rewrite 4 thirds as 1 and 1 third. This division expression can be rewritten as a fraction. 4 divided by 3 is the same thing as saying 4 over 3 or 4 thirds, which is also equal to 1 and 1 third. Let's look at another one. Let's do 5 divided by 2. We should start to see the pattern that the 5 is going to go in the numerator spot and the 2 in the denominator spot because this bar, this fraction bar, is actually equivalent or the same thing, it's interchangeable with this division symbol. So 5 divided by 2 can be also written as 5 halves or 5 over 2 or 5 divided by 2. 2 can go into 5 2 times with a remainder of 1. 5 halves is equal to 2 and a half. Let's look at C. Let's do 6 divided by 5. 6 is your dividend. 5 is your divisor. So you have 5 parts that you're dividing the 6 holes into. 6 divided by 5. 6 divided by 5 is equal to 6 fifths, and it's also equal to 1 and 1 fifth. Alright, I'm going to write over the first number, the dividend, and the numerator so you can see that pattern. That looks very similar, but this one is actually green. Alright, the next part. So you'll see word problems that are going to give you two numbers and the problems sometimes try to trick you of which number you're going to write down first and which number second. So let's say I have four poster boards and I have five classrooms. Each classroom needs a part of the poster boards. Is it 5 divided by 4 or is it 4 divided by 5? So what I like to think is what am I dividing? What is the one thing I'm dividing? And what is it going into? So I'm starting off with 4 poster boards and 5 classrooms. Just because 4 is first does not mean that it goes first. You have to look and see what the situation is. So in this case, in this case, it does go first because you have four poster boards. If you want to draw that out, and I'm dividing that between the five classrooms. So I'm dividing by five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Each classroom gets one fifth two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths. Each classroom gets four-fifths of a poster board because you have a number that's less than the divisor so the quotient is going to be less than a whole. Right. Let's do another one. Let's say three friends are sharing 20 bags of chips. So I have three friends, one, two, three, are sharing 20 bags of chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. So is it 3 divided by 20 or is it 20 divided by 3? One hint is that when you have a number that relates to people, that is going to be the divisor because you're not going to split the people, right? You're not going to say three people divided into 20 pieces. And it makes more sense too. The three friends are sharing the 20 bags. So it's 20 divided by three. The 20 bags of chips are being divided amongst three people. And then you just go ahead and divide them into three parts. Each part is divided into three pieces. So each person gets one third of each whole. If you multiply that by 20, it's 20 thirds, 20 thirds. 20 divided by three, 20 thirds. I can also rewrite this as a multiplication equation and get the same answer. In this case, it would be a product. All right, so going back to, f I can interpret fractions as division. This division expression or equal equation can also be rewritten as four over three, and it's also its quotient. When you have an improper fraction, you can also convert that into a mixed fraction. If you want to remember it simply, the first number of the dividend is going to go on the top, the second number is going to go on the bottom. Word problems, you just have to read it over, draw pictures to help you understand what you're dividing. In this case, I was dividing the poster boards in between the classrooms. In the second case, I was dividing the bags of chips in between the three friends. So what you're dividing goes first, in this case, the poster boards, in this case, the bags of chips. And the second part um, was what you're dividing by, your divisor. I'm dividing by the five classrooms. I'm dividing by the three friends. And one hint to remember is whenever you see people, more than likely that is going to be the divisor because you can't cut people into different parts, right? All right, and that's it for I can interpret fractions as division.